Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Gemini. Gemini, this is your monthly general reading for January 2020. Please keep in mind this is an intuitive reading. Now I am pulling from the Tarot of Dreams to pull a major theme and energy for you in the month of January. I'm also pulling from the Archangel Gabrielle Oracle. I'm using the Madame Endora Tarot, and I will be doing your monthly general reading with the Grand Lux Tarot. At the end of your reading, I will be pulling several life purpose oracles for you as well, Gemini. All right, Gemini, so I love this. We have your energy coming up here, the lovers. So I see this is a good sign right here, a good omen, and it's very positive. Thank you, spirits. All right, Gemini. All right, Spirit, what does Gemini need to know? January 2020, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you, Spirit. We are ready. We have motivation coming up here. Powerful energy. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Gemini. All right, we're ready. The queen, love and prosperity. And this is whether you're male or female. So, amazing energy coming up here so far. All right, spirit. What does Gemini, sun, moon, and rising need to know in the month of January 2020? Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? January 2020, Spirit. Thank you. Okay. We're ready. The situation. Beautiful. We have the King of Wands. Crossing you, we have the Fool. And your foundation is Temperance. Recent past energy, we have the Four of Cups. Crowning you, we have the Two of Coins. Your new circumstance is the Three of Wands. What you need to know is the Eight of Coins. Your environment is the Seven of Coins. Your advice from Spirit is King of Swords. And your outcome energy, beautiful. The Ace of Swords. Okay. Give me just a moment here. So we have the number sequence. Zero, one, two, three, and four coming up here. Amazing, okay? And we also have, let's see here, six, seven, and eight, okay? I always say, go and Google the angel number meaning because you're going to find more clarity within your situation, all right? Okay, let's, let's start here. So we have motivation. Pray for guidance as to how to increase your enthusiasm for and focus on this project. All right, so I'm getting an energy of being re-inspired is going to be, you know, uh, important in the month of January 2020. For those of you that feel like you're stuck or you've been unmotivated, talk to your angels. Communicate what your desires are. Okay, so they can start paving the way behind the scenes for you, Gemini. Um, I feel for many of you, you're manifesting and you're co-creating in the month of January 2020. If you're not, this may be something to think about. Uh, this could possibly, you know, reignite that passion within you to really take action in some area of your life. And that can help you to become unstuck, okay? Okay. Um, like I said, all you have to do is ask for guidance, ask for help from your angels and spirit. They're here to help you. So we have your energy coming up here. 
the lovers. Uh, I love this. This talks about you balancing your energy, balancing relationships. For many of you, this represents you making a major life decision for the betterment, okay, in January 2020. And this is going to be so positive for you. For some of you, this is definitely has to do with your career or your job. Some of you may even be thinking about moving and relocating, okay? Some of you may be stepping into a new relationship or a commitment as well. And it's very positive. Now you have the queen, love and prosperity. Uh, this is just a good omen. I love this. So I feel like there's an abundance of love here, an abundance of prosperity uh, that's being showered upon you in the month of January 2020. So uh, whether you're male or female, this is really you feeling on top of your game and things moving forward for you in a positive way. Now, your situation here is the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is that go-getter energy. This is that powerful and bold energy. Some of you are stepping into leadership roles. You're stepping into a powerful new experience in some area of your life. Um, I do, I am getting a sense here that you are role mo models for people. You are a beacon for others. Uh, they look at you. They, they hold you with respect. They admire you, Gemini. Um, with this coming up here, I do feel that you have a lot of passion and desire about what you're taking action on in your life. And you're not going to let anything get in the way of what it is that you're setting out to achieve, okay? You know, and this is just the energy of maybe starting that new career, maybe a new business even. Now, we do have the fool in your crossing position. I love this. This could be this major life decision that you're making in the month of January, okay? You're taking that leap of faith, starting a new adventure, a new beginning here. And you're believing in yourself as well as trusting in spirit. And that's very important. Now, you have temperance, the energy of Sagittarius, in your foundation. This is what's driving you. This is what's moving you forward in January. You are definitely taking the time and effort to make the required adjustments in some area of your life. You're doing the inner work. This is the spiritual alchemical uh, energy coming through here. So many of you are doing spiritual alchemy. And, you know, you're working through your problems. You're, you're, you're making adjustments that need to be made for the betterment of your situation. This talks about you believing in yourself as well as balancing your energies. And this is what's really allowing for you to move forward successfully. Now you have the Four of Cups coming up here in your recent past energy. And you're still feeling this because it's, it's showing up here in your reading, Gemini. This talks about you've had uh, some opportunities that become available to you here in your recent past but it wasn't quite what you wanted so you you were holding out because you know something amazing is coming here you know a blessing is coming uh you know this is going to be an opportunity of a lifetime this could be the opportunity that brings in this new beginning okay so i definitely see where this new opportunity uh comes in here for you in the month of January 2020 because you have the Three of Wands mirroring this Four of Cups, which is amazing. Now you have the Two of Coins in your crowning position. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. Oftentimes this talks about how flexible you are. Uh, you know, you have a lot on your plate, but you do it gracefully, okay? This could be you ha holding down two jobs or maybe holding down a job and taking some educational classes. Um, for many of you, this is talking about, again, making a major decision that is based on your financial situation, okay? And I do see you making a huge decision that is going to affect your financial situation in a positive way in January 2020. Now you have the Three of Wands as your new circumstance, amazing energy. This is that energy of waiting on your ships to come in because you know you've put out, you've been planting the seeds, you've already nurtured the seeds, you've put it out there. 
and you know there's going to be growth and expansion that's coming back with the work that you've already done. So this could be opportunities, job opportunities coming in here for you. Um, it's going to be different for each of you because there are so many of you watching. Uh, for some of you, this talks about you having foresight about where you're headed and where you're going, okay? You know exactly what you want, Gemini, and you're going after it. Now, you have the Eight of Coins coming up here in the position of what you need to know. This is an amazing energy. This talks about how disciplined you are. Uh, you have a lot of knowledge about what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? You're highly skilled. It, you're at the point of mastery here. For some of you, you could be going the extra mile here, going and taking some classes, getting your master's degree, going back to school. Um, I do feel that the work that you've put in with this energy, this is going to bring long-term financial gain and reward into your situation. You have the seven of coins coming up here in your environment. This is very positive. I do get a sense for some of you you are thinking about starting a home-based business and spirit says go for it. For some of you, this is you taking time out to pause and reflect to figure out the best time to, you know, use your finances or maybe it's your time, okay, for the betterment of your situation. Some of you are making an evaluation here about maybe redecorating your home. Some of you may be uh, paying off a home. Some of you may be buying a home. And some of you just may be relocating as well. But again, this talks about that you have, you know, the coins here to be able to set aside maybe one or two coins to invest in something that is going to bring growth and expansion within your finances. So most definitely, if you have been thinking about starting your own business, uh, this is going to be a good time for you. For those of you that have been thinking about investing in stocks or anything like that, this is going to be a good time for you as well. Now, in the position of advice from spirit, we have your energy coming through here again, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You have the King of Swords, whether you're male or female. You know, I, I feel spirit is saying, continue to stand in your truth. Okay, because the King of Swords is that very direct, just energy, being very straightforward, uh, being very assertive about what it is that you want. Okay, communication is clear. And Spirit is saying, you know, continue, you're on the right path. Uh, it could require you to, you know, have to use that sort of truth here to cut out any situation that's toxic, maybe. Uh, toxic energies that you've had to deal with, uh, maybe at work, or maybe even in your environment, or maybe this has to do with friends. Some of you may be setting up boundaries at this time as well, but Spirit says as long as you stand in your truth with this energy, you know, you're going to succeed. And what's amazing is you have the Ace of Swords coming up here as your outcome energy. The Ace of Swords is that energy of standing in your truth. You know, you have clarity about this new beginning that you're starting here. You have foresight, okay? And as long as you be honest with yourself, you know, um, it, it's all about truth and doing what's right and what's just for you at this time. And it's going to allow for you to be able to move forward in... I'm just getting a successful new beginning here. It's amazing energy. And you have so much clarity that you need. Okay? And like I said with the three of wands, you know, many of you, your your third eye chakra, your third eye is open. Your, your crown chakra is open. And you see clearly. You have the clarity that you need. And it's going to be very important that you believe in yourself and trust in your intuition as well, Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Gemini, very positive. You guys know what you want. You know what you're going after. And you're definitely not going to let anything get in the way of what it is that you're trying to achieve at this time. All right, we have animals. Thank you, Spirit. Talk to your angels. Thank you, Spirit. And we have nutrition. 
Animals, you understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life's work. You know, and this could be your pets, you know, that you have at home as well. Some of you may be thinking about starting a, a, a an animal shelter. Um, some of you could be into helping the environment as well, maybe doing environmentalist work. Talk to your angels instead of worrying. Ask for divine guidance. Love it. And we have nutrition. You conduct healing work with your culinary skills. Awesome. All right, Gemini. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Gemini.